Hello everyone. And game number two was a hard fought battle, so I'm going to show you game number three. And I'm only going to show you this chess game because of the incredible blunder in game number three in the Lesker and Bird match from 1890. So let's see what happened in this chess game. The game started with the birds opening once again, f4 by Henry Edward Bird. In the second game, Lesker had the white pieces, and once again, Bird is playing with the white pieces. And as you know, Bird lost the first game. d5 by Lesker, the most common reply. e3, and we see the same opening. And let's go to the critical moment of this chess game. So, after queen to a5, it looks like in this position, Lesker is attacking the b pawn. And Bird played queen to a1, which was a good move actually. And in this position, Lesker captured the knight. But if capturing the pawn, what happens then? This would be a blunder. Which was a tempting move. But then bishop to a4, and this is losing a piece. After defending the queen, knight takes on d7. Knight takes, bishop takes on d7. And black is losing a piece. So let's take it back. Of course, Lesker didn't do that. Lesker has foreseen that, and in this position Lesker captured the knight and Henry Edward Bird made an incredible blunder. A very basic mistake by Henry Edward Bird. 60 years old Bird captured the queen. <laughs> Maybe his age caught him, but I don't believe that, of course. What was the problem? Who knows? What caused this incredible blunder? Who knows? Henry Edward Bird had a lot of experience for making a blunder like this. So what was the problem? Of course, Lesker didn't capture the queen, he captured the knight. He didn't see in between move check. Knight takes on f3, this is check. And Henry Edward Bird at move 22, he resigned on the spot. Because if capturing the knight back, and Bird is a piece down. And this is all over for white. So this is why. In this position, after knight takes on e5, white has to play something like d takes on e5, knight to g4, queen takes on a5, b takes on a5, rook to e1, rook to b8, bishop to a4, and actually white has a pretty decent position. So this is not losing for white. But in this position, bird simply didn't see after knight takes knight, this is check. So after capturing the knight, capturing the queen, and black is a piece up. They say Henry Edward Bird was a talkative person. He was a colorful person who likes to talk. Especially during chess games, he was explaining some of the moves to the spectators. They say because of talking too much, he actually uh, made a blunder. It caused some concentration problem to Henry Edward Bird. And he forgot that this was actually check. So, okay, in this position, after knight takes on e5, knight takes on f3, and bird resigned. So, this was game number 3. And let's see game number 5. Hello, everyone, and let's check out game number 5 between Henry Edward Bird and Emmanuel Lesker. And in the first game, Lesker defeated his opponent. Game number 2 was a draw. In the third game, Lesker again defeated his opponent. So in the third game, Bird made a blunder and Lesker easily defeated his opponent. At move 22, Bird resigned. It was one of the worst blunders in the history of chess. And game number four was a hard fought battle and it was a draw. And this is game number five. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Lesker has the black pieces, Bird has the white pieces. And as always, Henry Edward Bird starts the game with pushing the f pawn, and this is the bird's opening. d5, the most common reply, knight to f3, g6, e3, and Lesker is playing his standard stuff against the bird opening. Bishop to e2, knight to f6, and both players castled. b3, and this move has a downside. What is the downside? Well, we have knight to e4, and this is a discover attack actually to the rook with the bishop so blocking but blocking with the c pawn is not a good move because now white has some development issues how to develop the knight how to develop the bishop his pieces are boxed in in the queen side 
Knight to c6, bishop to b2, but aiming his own pawn. Rook to e8. Esker can push to e pawn. d3, knight back. Knight in. And finally e5 by Lesker. d4. e takes on d4 and Lesker cracks open the center. Knight to e7, knight to c2, c6, bishop to d3, bishop to f5. Fighting for e4 square. Exchanging and of course Lesker captured back with the e knight, not with the knight. On d6 so he can use this knight for playing knight to e4. And dislodging this knight is not going to be easy so queen to d3 and knight to e4. Knight to e5. Well I believe in this position if challenging the knight with playing knight to d2 then simply capturing the knight. Queen takes on d2 and knight back and then knight in is also on the card. So knight to e5, rook to c8, rook from a to d1, lifting to rook, c4, bishop back, and now bishop in. But Lesker can dislodge this knight at any time he wants with pushing the f-pawn. And then white must defend the knight. But in this position, Henry Edward Bird made a blunder once again. Well, he played rook to h3. Why this move was a blunder? Actually, this move was a big mistake. What would you do in this position if you had the black pieces? So it is black to move. What would you do in this position? If I give you three seconds, can you guess the very simple move of black, of Emmanuel Lesker? So your time is starting from now. Yes, Lesker pushed the F pawn. And maybe you see this move because it was pretty simple. So if defending the knight then bishop takes on f4 is on the cards. So we have g4 pushing the pawn in front of the king once again. Which is not a very good idea. But in this position if defending the knight then bank. Bishop takes on f4 and this is losing for white. As you can see this is pretty much over for white. I mean you can't be a pawn down against this guy because after actually... Bishop takes on f4, there is no compensation for white. So this should be losing for Henry Edward Bird. But after pushing the pawn, Bird doesn't want to lose the pawn. He pushed the pawn, but Lesker, one by one, he played the most accurate moves. First, he captured the knight. f takes on e5, but now c takes on d5. Both of the knights is under attack. e takes on f4, defending the knight with the rook, finally capturing the knight. But now checking the king and then capturing and black has a very decent position. Actually black has a winning position and once again Lesker is a pawn up. Bird end up being a pawn down. Attacking the rook, going back and defending. Queen in, g takes on f5 and Lesker opened the g file which could be dangerous. Targeting the queen, queen to g4, now lifting the rook and in this position bird is threatening to play rook to g2, pinning the queen and winning. But again, unfortunately for Bert, Lesker played the best move and after that move, Henry Edward Bert resigned, actually. Can you guess the move? Well, actually after that move, defending the checkmate threat is not so easy. Lesker played rook to g7 and he is threatening checkmate on g1. Also, he is controlling the open file. As you can see, Lesker has the control of the important open files. Bert has control of nothing. He is just being attacked. And, okay, Henry Edward Bert resigned actually. The computer engine says the best defense for not getting checkmated is rook to g3. And then losing the rook, capturing the rook with the pawn. So if something like queen to f3, this time queen to g1, check, mate. So there is no sensible defense in this position after rook to g7. And with this victory, Emmanuel Lesker was leading with 3 points and it was already not looking good for Henry Edward Bird. Lesker is 3 points, Henry Edward Bird is 0 points. Okay, so this was game number 5. If you noticed, Emmanuel Lesker always crushed Henry Edward Bird when he was playing with the black pieces, but when Bird played with the black pieces against Lesker, when Lesker had the white pieces, Bird actually managed to survive against Lesker. 
Those games were draws. He didn't beat Lesker but actually he had some good chances against Lesker so we can say that maybe Bird's bird opening <laughs> was not very good against Emmanuel Lesker. Maybe his opening preparations was not good. So he always lost when he was playing with the white pieces which is unusual. And Lesker always crushed Bird when he had the black pieces. So we can see that Bird has some problems when he is playing his opening against Lesker. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time with the next games of this match. So take care, stay safe and bye bye.